My name's Heather. I'm Heidi. I'm Jim. Jim B. Scarlett. And this is Jason the Hook. This is Pelagic. She is a 1993 Katana 411, hole number one. Um, she is 41.1 feet long, and her beam is 22 and a half um, wide. Um, she displaces 10,000 pounds, or yeah, that's right, 10,000 pounds dry weight. Yeah, we wanna show you guys all the restoration that we're going to do, so welcome aboard. <laughs> So I really, I love this boat. I absolutely love this sailboat, obviously. Um, but there might be a few things that we want to um, do, redo or um, like the layout and all that stuff. But we would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And I also really want to say really quick, we want to thank our subscribers and that we love you all and we really appreciate you guys. The third it's owner, great. the first owner became ill is what I understand. I don't really know exactly um, the history of this boat, but um, wasn't able to take care of it and the windows all uh, started leaking and the wood became rotten and, uh, and so we took it out. So that's what you're gonna see in here. Uh, it smells a lot better, we can actually breathe. <laughs> and the really cool, one really cool blessing about doing that is that um, when you come in and see this, there is a template for uh, for the paneling for this side, and there's a template for a template for this side. So we'll be able to uh, restore her, which is kind of cool how that ended up. The galley. This is the cold plate fridge, which is really hard to get into. Uh, the salon table. Squeezy girls, can I kind of open it really quick just to show? Yeah. Oh. Okay. And how it opens up, so it's kind of like extra counter top for the galley. It's a poker table. Right? <laughs> so, um, and then behind the girls, there's a very large um, water tank. And then right here will be the nav station, right here. So we might be changing this up to the um, rectangular, the square, uh, 411 style, we might. We don't know, we don't really want to be, you know, working on her for years. Uh, we want to get out and explore our world, so um, we'll see. Yeah, leave us a, a comment if you think that's a good idea or not. I don't know, that might be a lot of work when Jim works a lot anyways. So, uh, oh, and right here, we're going to have uh, <laughs> uh, the drawer, fridge and freezer right here. We'd like two of them, we'll see. Um, can I close this up, girls? Thank you so much. Thank you. And then um, here, right here, is our escape hatch, which is awesome. Right there. And um, right here is um, really cool. It's the Lazy Susan in here. The I think the other Katana 411 rectangle square design have have this as well. Come down with me to the port side here and uh, check out this hull. So over here is, is our son's room, or his, his cabin. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, you can't see. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Hi. What are you reading? Um, the Sea Hunters by Clive Custler. Cool. Show who's, us the book. Who's your favorite author, Jimmy? Clive Custler. Mine too. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> Okay, we'll let you get back to reading. Is it clean enough in here? It's, it's a little better than the, oh, sorry. Um, some storage here. Oh, there's storage in here. I'll show you in the other hole, since we don't want to disturb him. This is really cool. I really like this uh, door for the, for the heads. Um, there's two heads. And it has this radial door, which is awesome. And, um, just your regular head.
<laughs> All right, so, and forward here, forward port cabin is the girls. This will be the girls cabin. Um, yeah, so they want to share a room because they're super close and that's awesome. I love it. So we were like, you're going to get separate rooms. And they're like, what? They were like, so appalled. Um, there's storage here, storage there, storage under here. Pretty awesome. Storage under the mattress. Storage under the mattress. Yeah, yeah. Storage all over. It smells funny in here. Sorry, we'll get that up. Okay. <laughs> um, now, there's storage right here. So come on over to the uh, starboard hole with me. I'll show you our cabin. Ow. Our cabin over here. So there, just like the other side, there's storage here. Except the other side, I believe, has the um, the holding tank. Yes, underneath uh, Jimmy. There's a holding tank on each side. Oh, there's a holding tank on each side. Okay, we'll edit that out. <laughs> derp, derp. Okay, so. And then you want to touch on when we first got the boat, the doors wouldn't. Yeah, when we first got the boat, the doors wouldn't close because they had their swole on. <laughs> So that's really awesome. We're going to put a mirror here. Because I like to look at myself. I <laughs> know. We don't have a mirror on the other side. Um, okay. Yes. No, we're going to... There's the electrical panel here. Temporary. Yeah. Temporary. Yeah, this is just because we... Um, we want a blue sea panel. Yes. And anybody that knows anything about blue sea, they had a warehouse fire from a disgruntled employee set the place on fire Ooh. and the panel that we really really want they're not going to be able to make for us until next month so we Woo. have a Tem temporary electrical panel ah, which is awesome he just whipped that up in less than an hour <laughs> um yeah Perfect. okay so this is the starboard head over here and here's some good reading material right here um, I just want to show you the size of this. It's pretty decent size, and the mirror is actually really nice. Uh, let's see here. And this here, this over here, is um, Jim's shop <laughs> with lots of important, important stuff. So, yes, to work on collagen. Storage here, storage there. This, well, in here you can kind of see the water tank. It's ginormous. It's, it's huge. Okay. Hi, girls. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> say hi. Say hi, Heidi. What's the deal? She's in the witness protection program. <laughs> she, uh, she gets a little shy. Oh, she, she has a bloody nose. It's the secret. It's okay. Oh, it's the secret. Do you have a bloody nose? Mm -hmm. Let's see oh, it. Let's see it. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh. <laughs> DNA all over the boat. Oh, that's all right. We'll get her a tissue. Oops. Okay, so let's continue our Hello. tour. Here. <laughs> we'll continue our tour what? outside. Do you want to come Do with us, Jimmy? Sure. sure. Continue our tour outside. So I will take the camera. <laughs> With Jim speaking about stuff out here. It's a bit windy. Down here we have the garage. Uh, holds our house batteries. Right now we have uh, six, six volt golf car batteries that are all wired together in a series to make 12 volt for the house batteries, oil, and whatnot, and a bunch of dive gear. That's where all the dive gear lives right now. Below here, we have our fuel tank. I was really excited thinking this was a lot more storage, but uh, really it just has a giant fuel tank. And uh, apparently it's 85 gallons. <laughs> it's just a guess. Very dirty. This is our cockpit, which is like our outside picnic table area. <laughs> um, one of the features of the katana that we really like, a lot of people don't, is uh, dual helm. Got a helm on the starboard, 
and get a helm on the port. We benefit from the dual helm. You know, we have a nice, great view of the sails, uh, docking, pulling in and out. You have a great view, port, and if you're docking on the starboard, you can just walk right across and uh, get a great view, fore and aft. So, um, unfortunately, the engine controls are just on one side, they're on the port side, which, uh, yeah, that's, that's that's fine, I guess. If we were rich, we would put electronic controls on both sides, but we're not, so that's, uh, that's so, uh, GPS navigation. I'm probably going to change this entire setup, make it more of a wraparound, have it come up a little higher, more systems. I'd like to have the engine controls up here uh, where I can see them better rather than, they're down there. rather than dealing with that and bumping a key and having to go down the sugar scoop and uh, lost the world. There's some water, water tank. Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice warm water to rinse yourself off of. Mm -hmm. um, we have two engines. One of the port, one of the starboard. Uh, they're 35 horse Volvo Pinta diesel engines um, with Volvo sail drives out the bottom. Um, yeah, a lot of wiring, a lot of wiring going on in there that's probably gonna get cleaned up. I'd like to eventually, when we haul out, dig out everything that doesn't need to be in there, uh, sand it down, paint it with a nice epoxy paint, and clean everything up. So when I was at dive school, I got to go on a tugboat into the engine room and everything was gray epoxy paint. Nice gray clean engine room. I would show you the other side, but it's exactly like this. So we have, uh, we have a bridle system for our main sheets. Well, the catamarans have a traveler. The traveler would either be on the bimini or somewhere up on the cabin. Uh, we have a bridle system. So it goes through two snatch blocks, two, through two more snatch blocks, to a winch easy, control the main sheets, just release the clutch on one side, pull it on this yeah. side. Yeah, really close to both helms. Yeah. Um, everything's really accessible as far as main sheets, um, head sail sheets, you know, everything yeah. is, is very accessible from the cockpit. Yeah. Really nice accessibility. Okay, show us. Nice accessibility. Just the deck. We have, uh, you know, we have travelers and, and shivs and pulleys everywhere for different cell configurations to run um, a Jenniker or a Code Zero if we get a Dolphin Striker on the front, which I would really like to do. Most luxury catamarans on the market have what's called a shoal keel. And it's, you know, it's a shallow draft hull and then it has just a tiny little fin keel on the bottom. So they don't sail to wind very well. Um, they tend to slip sideways and, and lose a lot of uh, speed over ground in the direction you want to go. So fortunately for us, um, Katana, joint project by Locke Crowther and Christoph Barreau, decided to put dagger boards. These are retractable dagger boards. They go down through both holes, port and starboard. So when we're sailing to wind, we drop these down just like the keel of a sailboat. It, uh, counteracts the force on the sail and helps you sail in a nice straight direction hopefully the one you want to go <laughs> so um, yeah if we draw about two foot six inches with the dagger boards up and about eight foot with the dagger boards down so just over eight foot so it's nice you know a lot of people put these down as curve feelers in the sand they say you know just put a little bit of dagger board in the water and once it drags in the sand you you can pull it up and go go in farther or you know that's as far as you want to go so these are the windows that have been leaking for 10 years or so um, most most windows are bed with Cicaflex which is a petroleum based product which over time uh, water moisture it, it, it dries out and it cracks and causes it to leak like before when I rebed these, I used a structural silicone based product, which is actually 100% silicone. Most silicones that you get from Home Depot or anywhere are like 6%, 10% silicone in them. And the rest of them is, you know, the rest of it's other things. But this is actually 100% silicone. So it has a 
60 year life. So hopefully these windows will outlive us. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with 100% silicone is nothing sticks to it. So when I go to paint, we'll see what happens. Nice big necks, big trampoline, dog that lays everywhere. <laughs> so as you move forward and turn around and look back at the boat, we have really wide deck space. We have lots of deck space. The most catamarans that have a, you know, a, a really wide superstructure on top. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah. With the 411 and most katanas, you know, they, they shrink the space on the inside to give more deck space and less of an above water profile. You know, we have a really narrow, really fast profile, which I think is beautiful. And nice wide flat deck. This is uh, the yoga studio. This is where <laughs> my wife likes to do her yoga in the morning or the evening or both. <laughs> I like the windows. I like the way the hatches fold up in the front windows because it kind of looks like uh, an Imperial Walker from Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, this is a trampoline up front. It's nice, holds my big fat butt. Um, I say um a lot, don't I? No, not too bad. I, I can always edit that out too. I'm okay. <laughs> so this, this is the trampoline. Holds my fat butt and uh, we, we like that we have a trampoline, it's really nice. One of the things we don't like is the, the spacing. You know, it's kind of, a, kind of a toe killer and you definitely don't want to drop any change up here. <laughs> so we plan to replace this with something a little smaller mesh and hopefully it's a different color than the off-white that we currently have. It's storage, lots of space. We have a spare anchor chain, spare road. Propane locker, propane, more anchor road, okay. chain. Hello. Uh, fuel jerry cans. Looks like a water container that I don't think I would put any water in. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, nice drains, really dirty on the road. Okay. Anchor windlass, nice low profile anchor windlass that goes dagger board. I pulled out. It's smaller. Dagger boards are meant to break away if you run aground and we think that maybe somebody bumped into something because this dagger board is nine inches shorter than the other one and also one inch narrower. They did a really good job at building a dagger board from wood and fiberglass, whatever. It's really heavy. Didn't quite get the dimensions right. So not sure at some point down the road I may build another dagger board, but for right now, I'm gonna put this one back I in. I wish she could tell us what happened. Yeah. I wish she could talk. I wish this boat could tell us everything it's been through. <laughs> um, more duct tape residue <laughs> from having a lot of duct tape and tarps over the windows and everything else that it's seen throughout the years. Anybody who's ever had duct tape residue on something knows how much of a bear it is to clean off, which is why I haven't got to this side yet. The other side's clean, this side, not so much. Not yet. Uh, it's our nice, soft, Harbor Freight tarp bimini that we have. Mm -hmm. It's also demo storage. You know, that's all <laughs> old window trim that I pulled out. But I, I always forget is up there. So I plan to make a hard bimini. I'll probably bring it out to here to where it just covers the cockpit. So, you know, whatever rain or we get, we'll either run off the side. And I also plan, there's a rake aft. I plan to make a small grab rail around the hard bimini with a petcock in each corner to collect rainwater. So we will have this entire large surface to collect rainwater when it rains. I'll have a valve on it to where I can dump it overboard or we can collect it in our tanks. So that's a plan, it's on the books, look for it. I have nothing but time, comment below and I'll show you whatever you want to see. Yeah, right? Nothing but time. Yes, we have a lot of work to do. We certainly do but it's going to be worth it. We're excited to show you guys the progress and the process of getting her restored. Thanks for watching. Give us a like, a subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of our new video. Yeah, we'd appreciate it. Good night, and thank, thank you for you. watching. Thank you. Thank you.